what I tell you to do, and you'll be blessed with all the inheritance. Y'all with me? But we want to, the only person we do like that is God. We go on to people's job, we follow their rules. We go to people's store, we follow their rules. Come in with a shirt on, shoes on. You follow their rules. But when you come into the kingdom, he said you got to walk up, right? Don't do this, do this, and do this right here so I can bless you. I'm not condemning you for what you're doing, but I'm doing it so I can bless you. But we won't do that. But everywhere in life, we do it. But in salvation. You know what I mean? Ain't you You do it with your food stamp out. Oh, well, we don't want to use that. <laughs> See how I do it. Let's get a better of still straight than that. <laughs> but you do another stuff. Oh, yeah, go to school. You do what they tell you. Everywhere. But when you get in the kingdom of salvation, where everything exists. No limitations. Say no limitations. No you have, whatever you believe, God shall give it to you. Whatever you believe, God shall give it to you. Whatever you want, God shall give it to you. All you have to do is come into my kingdom, bow into my throne room, give me praise and give me glory, and do what I tell you. When you live in people's house, you can't do what you want to do when you want to do it. They got rules you got to abide by. But the only place that people don't want to do it is in the kingdom of God. But they want the blessings. They want the blessings. They want the healing. They want the stuff. But they don't want to obey. And the Bible declares that obedience is better than sacrifice. Sin has not been forgiven. God said your sin is not stopping you. What you done done ain't stopping you. When you, what you're going to do ain't going to stop you. But what you won't do is stopping you. It will blame me. Him that is led by the Spirit is the Son of God. God tell you to do something, you do it. God tell you to do it, you do it. But you don't want to do it. When you've got free range through obedience to get everything you'll see, you can be the one Slept with Billy Willie and Sidney. And God said, I will not hold it against you if you obey me. And you won't continue to sleep with Billy Willie and Sidney. Y'all don't say that. Oh, y'all ain't going to say that. And even when you did, he ain't going to get you. Because you don't practice, you practice righteousness. You don't practice that. Y'all know what practice is? Anybody ever play football, basketball, soccer, or golf? When you go out there, don't you play any rules? Don't you go by the rules? What happens when you don't go by the rules? Feel like. What's wrong with you in the, in the kingdom of God? Feel like. <laughs> Because you won't obey him. It ain't your sin. It ain't your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your situation, your circumstance. It ain't what your problem is. Your problem is that you don't obey him. Oh, y'all. Read the rest of the so let me get these people out here. I don't know if they're grabbing this today. I guess they're hot. That is hot. I'm hot. Say not imputing. You know what I mean? Not putting their sins on. He's not holding you accountable for your sins. And you know? They done preach me about my sins all my life. And God said, I ain't holding you accountable for that. I ain't accusing you of, of, of doing this and uh, judging you for your sin. That's why I suck my son. What's stopping you is your being. You want to live in my kingdom but don't want to follow my rules. <sighs> Y'all have? Amen. See, it's something that don't know. If I don't know about it, the Holy Spirit speak to me about it and tell me about it, convict me about it, I got to straighten it out. 
reason. And if I'm religious, I can live for it. But God working something out. Because he's not even putting that shit to him because he knows it's going to leave. But by me being sin minded, sinful minded, I'm judging them and criticizing and being accused of other brethren. Instead of uplifting the brother, I'm accusing of the brother. The devil is the accuser of the brother. I'm supposed to love you in spite of you. In spite of your shortcoming, because God is going to bless you through situations and circumstances. But I'm allowing the devil to use me to judge you. The devil is the accuser of the brother. The devil is using you to put that sister brother down. And to remind them of their sins so their mind can't be fully transformed by the love of Jesus. Oh, y'all ain't gonna talk to me. So when you think you have it, you're really being a vessel of the enemy because you're accusing your brother of being a sinner when God said, I took the sins away from him. I won't even put that to him. Because when I'm taking them and they're trying to follow me and they're getting better and they're growing in the wisdom of the Lord, Lord and they follow after me. Oh, y'all ain't saying that. They got some things falling off them and they continue to walk toward me. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ain't God good. And they obey me and they do what I say. Oh, glory to God. And you won't judge them and put them down when you don't know and they come toward me and I'm praising them and you hold them against them. They can't, they can't be an usher. They can't sing in the choir. They can't stand up and praise God without you looking at them crazy. They can't testify when they seeking after me. When I'm drawn, I'm not even going to put my back because where's me? I got to get some old revelation saints and they be shouting and stuff, jumping up and down. Pray, I got some old saying now they can't jump like they used to. Praise <laughs> God. Thank God good. But they still in the house. They hallelujah. They cool it. They say, you're twin. Say hallelujah. <laughs> Thank God good. Praise God. Thank God also. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. God, I'm telling you, it, why? Because you think sin is stopping when God ain't put sin to you. And the only thing about me is what you believe. And you won't obey. You won't praise and worship God and glorify God and lift God up when you come in the house because you know what you did yesterday. And last night. And the night before. Because <laughs> you think that's not. You should be saying, God, make me a moment. Change me, God. Wash me with your blood. Purify me, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Because I'm not playing church. I want you to move my life. I want you to take over my life. Do it, God. Do it, God. But I can't be expect God to do it if I'm feeling condemned. People want people to get better when I'm going to get better when you keep condemning me. It's time you make too many excuses. 
that when you make an excuse, that means you know you've been there too long. Well, well, I like this man. They coming after a while. Child, I've been five years, they ain't came one time. You ain't a good well, they ain't coming. Because they ain't coming because they know they got you. As long as they know they got you, they ain't got to come. Because they ain't trying to get to church. They ain't trying to get Jesus. They just trying to keep you. Yeah, hallelujah, Jesus. Ain't God good. That's the truth. Now, come on, read the rest of us. I'm about to, I'm about to. That is that God will give Christ to the world to himself, not receiving their trust to them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Because all you got to do is come to Jesus and do what he said. You ain't got to worry about your sin. You ain't got to worry about what you've done or what you're going to do. The, the, the hiccups and the falls and the get back up. See, the fall is not the problem is if you don't get back up. Notice every time you fail and you got by, back up, God didn't even bring it back to your remembrance. Old things passed away. All things become new again. Once you allow God to take it away, he took it away and never condemn you again about it. It's people that won't let you forget. When God ain't even holding it against you. When you see me last year, I was dealing with someone. I was doing, yeah, but you still know I ain't. God done changed me. And I'm not going to allow you to transform my mind to condemn me again. And I will not go back. Oh, you'll go back. No, I ain't. You're a devil. God has saved me yes. and delivered me. Yes. He don't reconcile the world, say world, world. to himself. Yes. He don't reconcile. He's just, he said, come on back now. It's already come back. Don't matter, come as you are, but you won't stay like you are. Come on back and just do what I tell you to do now and obey me and don't bite off, don't eat off the tree. Do exactly what I said. What was the fall of man? The fall of man was disobedience. What you doing? You disobeying God. God convicted you. Ain't what the preacher said. He convicted you in your spirit, and you heard the word of God, and you refused to change. He convicted you, but then when somebody next you go through the same thing, and they convict them, but it convicted you. But you want to look at them and say you ain't got to change because of them. But God convicted you. Say your time is up. It's time for you to move higher. Yes, amen. It's time for you to let that go. I'm going to show you all I want to show you in that experience. Time for you to move forward. But what you do, oh, oh my God, no, my heart. Yeah, he do. That's why he shows you what he showed you because it's time for you to move on. You cannot stay somewhere when God done told you to leave somewhere and think things going to work out and try to make God come back to that place to make it work. He's not going to do it. Ain't going to do it. Because he's already giving you every sign. Now you're upset, mad, frustrated, and, 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 and want to give up because you placed it where God didn't told you to go. Your season is up. Y'all ain't saying that. And, and you allow the enemy to trick you and to stand. Now you seem like God done left you. He ain't left you. He still said, Come to me. Just you got to obey me, though. So you confession is when you openly confessing something. You're not confessing. This is what they got. He said, confess your faults. See, your faults is when you disobey God. Your faults is not when you sin, because he don't forgive you for sin. Come on. Come on. Woo! Oh, I should have. You know how? Did he say, confess your faults? Yes. Your faults ain't the sin he wants you to confess when you disobey me. But you, you, God speaking to you, telling you stuff, and you told disobey it, but you got this Christian life, but you ain't doing nothing he's saying. The left kill, but the spirit get alive. You still ain't keeping everything in the word. You ain't keeping every word in there like you perfect. Child, look at them when look at you. Ain't God good. And you got to begin to know that you ain't doing it. It's it because of Jesus Christ that you, that you are who you are. It's because of Jesus Christ that you no longer ain't seen. Say hallelujah. Ain't God good? Ain't God awesome? And we got to stop looking at each other and begin to look up to the hills 
hurt our help. Say our. And our help comes from the Lord. Without Jesus Christ, man, we all be in trouble. But don't use excuses the way you act because you don't want to obey. The man of God, the woman of God, you know, spoke to your children for God's sake, and you want to do what you want to do. Don't, when, when all hell break loose, I'm going to say it like the hell is here, don't go to complain about it, because your choice was to get that, because you choose not to obey. And God told you, come boldly, and you can get everything you want, and have everything you want. But the main thing God asked for you is to obey. You don't care about you falling, slipping, sleeping, falling. Thank God, good. But what he cares about when he, when he speaks to you, disobey. And when he reveals it to you, disobey. And that's why sometimes, I'm going to go that. Sometimes you feel like, God, you don't hear nothing. Read the Holy Ghost. And some people got a reprobate mind. You know, reprobate mind? Thinking you're right when you did it wrong. Thinking you're holy and saved and ain't. That's a reprobate mind. Knowing you ain't doing nothing God told you to do. And ain't doing nothing God, and you can proclaim to have Jesus in your life. Yes. And you and you started doing everything to guess what he told you to do, what he told you personally in your life. And, and claiming you're right. That's a reprobate mind. And ain't trying to change. A study proclaiming Jesus. We all ain't saying that now. That's the revelation of mine. The enemy will trick you when you think everything's right. When God openly spoke to you and told you to do some things, to do something, you openly disobeyed him. And you ignore it afterwards like everything was alright and you never did what he said. He said, I give them over to a reprobated mind. Devil didn't do it. God did. Because they refuse to be obedient. So they're going to be hanging with you, praying with you, I'm not even going to say laying on hands, but hanging around you, and you're going to say, oh, they just say, no, they, they you know good and well that they change. Look like you, sound like you, and was dispute you down about the Bible, about the Word, and want to prophesy to you, <laughs> and you know good and well that God has spoke to them and told them to get them right. Y'all know what's going around there for that time? We try pawn reading. People running to it, people, young people. When they read your cards, read your palm. They gonna read something. <laughs> it's big thing for life. Which crap big thing for life? It's big right now. Y'all know a lot of people in the streets dealing with witchcraft. People in the street, most of the time they go into the witchcraft people, or they deal with witchcraft. Got roots and all kinds of stuff. Check the car, check the stuff they got in there, check around. You see? I'm telling you, darkness all around me. It's so far, it's so out there, it's in the schoolhouse. It's in elementary schools, it's in high schools, it's in middle schools. Witchcraft. And now there's so much around, and we ain't trying to come to life and be obedient to God. And guess what? That, that, that ain't a good thing. My prayer goes out to the church, to the people of God. I pray in see for the eyes will open. They will stop ignoring the word of God and be obedient. God always I got a remnant. I got a people. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. We still on the winning team. Yeah. But we got to take knowledge with God. We got to start doing what God say do. Because yeah. otherwise people will be turning to terror cards, reading the finger. How you gonna read my finger? Don't read my palm. When I was in high school one time, I'm gonna let y'all go. And I had a teacher look at me. A teacher look at my palm. I ain't know no better. He's looking at my palm. He said, ooh. He said, ooh. 
He said, you ain't going to live to be about 45 to 50. Because see that cut right there? See where it cuts out right there? That means short life. I looked at that son. I was scared for about 20 years. I'm gonna tell you how to get work. I'm gonna tell you how to get this. Y'all think we have this, yo? My cousin told my mother, right there, doc, that I was sick. Around about the time that man told me I was going to die. He told my mama that I was sick and I wasn't telling nobody. But that was saying here. I was rebuking cats and now slapping them and rebuking him and mama. <laughs>
and speak the right thing in your life. Amen. Don't give in to the thought. Say, oh, no, no, I'm blessed. Yeah. Say, it's going to work out for me. Yeah. It's going to work out for me. Yeah. Hey, God, you know, stop looking at it. Stop that speaking that thing because you ain't going to do nothing but bring your power to it yeah. and come right to your doorstep. Yeah. Hey, God, do yeah. Say, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, let's take them off. I'm going to jump the jacket off.